Hi guys, hope you all been enjoying these videos. We're having a good time with you guys and just in general, a good time here at the clinic. Uh, one of our questions today is, my pet has a dry cough. Um, some of those types of questions, there's a lot of variable reasons for that issue. So I'm gonna go with the more common, assuming this is a toy breed patient. So something less than 20 pounds typically. Uh, dry hacking, some of the things I'd look for that's very common in those guys are respiratory issues, um, particularly a congenital issue called a collapsing trachea. Basically, when they get excited, they will have a dry hacking cough. Some owners will describe it like a goose honking. Every dog's a little different, and there's so many varying degrees on what it sounds like, depending on how severe the issue is. If you have a 10 degrees collapse, it's gonna sound different than if you have a 90% collapse. So that's a major variability between the goose honking and a dry hacking cough. Um, you know, sometimes we can catch those on x-rays, not all the time, a lot of times we identify them with history and presentation and breed. And we do what's called a tracheal palpation. So you can take your hand, kind of like that, go along the trachea, palpate it, kind of be a little rough. If you can stimulate a cough, um, a lot of times if the history fits and we can stimulate it, we can then identify it on x-rays. Even if not, we'll kind of go off the clinical signs and history and the physical exam. So hope that answers some of your questions for that. Keep an eye out for it. There are some different issues that are a little bit deeper in the lungs that you have to have advanced imaging for, like fluoroscopy. That is basically a live video image x-ray. Um, my dad's dog has a very severe version of this called primary bronchi collapse. So instead of just the trachea collapsing, you branch into the lungs, the left and right lungs, and then those branch further and further. Well, this first branch that goes right here, hers completely collapse. And we can't see it as a collapsing trachea because these tubes are too small and they had to identify that with a specialist on fluoroscopy. Good news is the treatment is very similar to a collapsing trachea and try and elevate their head and if they're doing it at night when they're curled on a ball, try and straighten that windpipe out and it's easier to breathe in a straight line than it is curved and kinked. So those are some little suggestions that we've had very good results from my dad's personal dog, Shamra. And Lots and lots of clients, once the patient has figured that out and the owners figure out what works for them and the patient, that's really, really helped a lot of these guys out. So, you know, keep an eye out, see if it's a collapsing trachea, or do they cough when they get excited, worked up. If they're overweight, they're predisposed. So, hope you learned something, guys, and watch out for those collapsing tracheas. We see them very commonly in our toy breed dogs. Peace.